Pinpoint, bringing you the very best of the internet. Welcome to Pinpoint. Today, I'll just jump straight into introducing a new interesting thing to you. And then after that, I'll explain to you why I've been looking up for something like this in the first place. So here's what I wanted to share with you. It's not a program. It's a plugin for an existing program and it's called NPP FTP. This is a plugin for Notepad++. For those of you who have been following this channel, you know I've been using Notepad++ extensively over the years. Thanks to the fact that it's free, it's open source, and it does a lot of things you would want a programmer's text editor to do. With NPP FTP, one extra thing we can do is, well, we can work with files from a remote server like uh, FTP or over SSH, basically completely seamlessly. You can pop open the video description for the download links, or you can download this through the Notepad++ plugins manager if you have that installed. Either way, what you're looking for is the Notepad++ FTP plugin. Once you have this plugin installed, a nice little sidebar appears, and you can start to enter the details of whatever server it is you want to connect to. Once you've connected to the server, the file listing appears as a tree view. You are now free to click through and find whatever file it is you want to access via the FTP system. Then just double click on the file and that opens within Notepad++. Now, here's the best part. Edit the file as much as you like. And when you press save, the upload happens seamlessly. Yes, that's right. The moment you save the file, the plugin actually takes the file and re-uploads it right away back to the server, overwriting the original file. So yeah, you can basically seamlessly work with files as if they were files on your local device. And that's what I really like about this plugin. Now, I promise to give you a little bit of context as to why I'm doing this, which seems to be, you know, still quite workaroundy. The reason for this is I've recently laid my hands on a Raspberry Pi. It's not my first Raspberry Pi, but it's Pi 4, which is, uh, yeah, a little bit more powerful and it has Wi-Fi. Anyway, one thing I didn't like so much about the Raspberry Pi computers was the fact that, well, it's a computer. You have to hook it up to a monitor and a keyboard to work with it. After setting up the Raspberry Pi to work in headless mode, what I was able to do is I was able to connect to it via SSH and to, yeah, make it do things without actually looking at the screen. So that's what they call headless mode. And the only thing that's still not quite as seamless was the fact that if I wanted to work with files on the Pi itself, I would either have to use a text editor via the SSH console like Vim, which is, well, not the most user-friendly thing in the world, or I would have to use an FTP client to download the file, edit them on my local machine, and then re-upload it, which again, is a couple of extra steps. However, with this plugin in place, I don't have to worry anymore because I can just connect, write whatever code I want, and in my console, run it. It's perfectly seamless, almost as if I was doing something on my local machine. And I think that's an amazing way to work with a Raspberry Pi. Of course, you may find other users if you're using servers in a different context, but that's my use case. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Pinpoint. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and are feeling generous, a donation to this channel will be greatly appreciated. There's a link on screen and in the video description for more details. Meanwhile, please do like, comment, and subscribe. This helps the channel tremendously and gives me the means to do more. Thank you once again, and I'll see you next time.